Cancer is not just one disease, but a class of more than 100 different diseases, all characterized by uncontrolled invasive cell growth. To understand cancer better, let's zoom inside the body to the tiny cells that are the basic building blocks of organs and tissues. Normal cells grow, divide, die, and are replenished in harmony with their surroundings. But a mutation in cell DNA can cause some cells to divide rapidly and live longer, crowding out normal cells. The proliferating colony of cancer cells can form into a compact lump, or tumor. In a process called angiogenesis, cancer cells send out molecular signals to nearby blood vessels, coaxing them to grow nearer. The hijacked blood vessels feed the tumor, fueling its growth and diverting vital nutrients from surrounding tissues. After a while, the primary tumor may begin to metastasize, sending out cancer cells to other areas. The metastasizing cells often travel along the lymphatic system, a network of vessels carrying essential fluids throughout the body. The cancer cells sometimes take root in lymph nodes and start to form new tumors there. A primary tumor can sometimes be surgically removed, curing the cancer. But once the cancer has begun to spread, it becomes more difficult to treat requiring whole-body approaches like radiation and chemotherapy. These treatments can harm normal cells as well as cancer cells, causing fatigue, nausea, hair loss, and other unpleasant side effects. Researchers are trying to find new ways to diagnose cancer earlier and treat it more effectively. Can nanotechnology help? Yes, and here's why. Cancer is a disease involving uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells. And cells are made up of molecules that are nanoscale in size, way too small to see with ordinary microscopes. The new tools of nanotechnology offer researchers the ability to maneuver in this tiny realm. Researchers are designing tiny nanoparticles and devices that may help diagnose cancer earlier, and may also be able to deliver cancer drugs with pinpoint accuracy. However, cancer nanomedicine is a new field of research. Most of the diagnostic and therapeutic approaches described here are still under development. Their safety and efficacy must be determined through clinical trials before the FDA can approve them for human use.